Welcome to Gotta Love Connecticut Hockey. I'm your host, Francesco Graziano, Jr. Our show comes to you today from the Jennings Fairchild Rink at the Avon Old Farm School. Some of the organizations in Connecticut hockey have more than just traveling programs. They also offer a house or recreation league. Today we're at the first annual year-end tournament for a unique limited travel house league that has sprung up in Central Connecticut for older squirt and peewee players that are just starting out in hockey. And by the way, it's time to cast your vote in this season's final photo of the month contest. Cast your vote at our website by Friday, March 20. Now it's time to go inside to find out how the teams from Northeast, Avon, West Hartford, and Simsbury are enjoying the tournament action. How long have you been playing hockey and how did you get into the sport? I've been playing for one year. Uh, this is my first year. I started last year. I did a learn to state skate program. This is my fourth year. I've been playing for five years. Is this your first ever tournament that you've ever played in? Yes, it is. I played a lot of sports, but uh, none of them were really like my thing. This team has been really fun. The coaches made it fun and I just love playing hockey. Playing in a house league or a house team gives kids an opportunity to start playing even if they're older and they haven't had that opportunity to play from the might level all the way up to peewee or squirt level. What's it like playing in a tournament? Um, it's really exciting. A little bit of nervous. It's a lot of fun and the tournament's really helping us like, learn. I want to ask you about the consolation game against Simsbury. You've gotten to see them thus far in the tournament. What's coming up next? Well, I think we're going to do good. We beat them last time, and I'm really not expecting a miracle. We beat them once, and they beat us twice, so we might be able to win it. What kind of differences do you see from other the tournaments that are really involved in Northeast programs? This just seems a little more low-key because we've got a wider age range of kids and a wider range of abilities. It's like any hockey tournament. The kids want to win, but you know the house program we focus on having fun and, and trying to teach them the game so there's a little bit of sportsmanship that you maybe wouldn't see in a regular tournament. Some of our players played for the other team because they didn't have enough players. So we do stuff like that which is pretty unusual. Can you tell me a little bit about playing West Hartford, beating them and now playing in this game? I felt really happy but I knew it, my job wasn't done because we had uh, the next game, the finals. We won yesterday and it was a great victory and I'm hoping to win today again. Have you been able to scout your competition a little bit? Last night I watched the first period of the game and I got a feel for the players. What'd you see? They were pretty good matchup. We might have a win. What went behind organizing this kind of a tournament? Basically it was trying to find the ice time. I just got together with the other coaches of the other teams and said would it be possible? to uh, do something like this for the kids. Mike Foley from Avon was able to get the ice for us, and here we are. Wrapping up this season with this tournament, what's important for the guys to do out there, and the girls too as well? It goes back to making sure they have fun. So it's a tournament, everybody wants to win, but I think everybody plays better if they're enjoying themselves. One of the keys for this year has been the team playing together as a team and really working with one another, picking each other up, and. and being that one core group out on the ice. Where do you think your game is at now as opposed to where it was in October? Um, it's made me uh, s skate better and know the game more. Well, we started off as the underdogs of the Northeast um, group and it's it's been nice because everybody's kind of evolved together and they've come together as a team and kind of moved forward all together. Everybody's improved. We always have kids who try trying hockey for the first time and you know, a real uh, success story for us is we get a kid to come out for hockey as a 10 year old, play for one year on the house program and then move up to travel. And then we have other kids that are on the house program because they want to do more than one sport. It really depends on the kid and the family where they go from here. What about next season? What do you have plans to do? I'm going up to Bantam. I want to go on to travel. I'm going to want to do the travel. I'm going to practice indoors and outdoors so I can get a lot better. Next year I'm going to an all-girls team. I'm going to start playing field hockey so that's in lacrosse too, so that's probably going to help me. We know these players have great hockey fun ahead today and in the future. One thing's for sure though, you just gotta love Connecticut hockey.